There are several bus companies in Plymouth and many different bus routes. Plan your journey and make sure you leave enough time to get to your bus stop. Find out the time of the bus you want so you're not waiting too long. And it's a good idea to know the time of the following bus in case you miss the first one. Morning. It's £1.70, please. Morning, Katie. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Morning. It's one pound seventy, please. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. When on the bus, try to sit close to the driver. If you do not feel safe near someone, move away. If someone bothers you, tell the driver when the bus is stopped. If the person does not stop bothering you and ignores the driver, call the police using 999, telling them the bus number and the route. The police will either meet the bus at an agreed bus stop or will find the bus whilst it's on its route. There are cameras on board for your safety. Keep hold of your bus ticket as it gives the time, date, bus number and journey that you have taken. This information is important if you wish to speak to the bus company or make a report to the police. If you're travelling on buses at night, make sure you know where the nearest bus stop is when you've been out. Choose a well-lit bus stop on a main road where you can be seen by other people. And it's a good idea to know when the last bus of the night is so that you can get home safely. Your bus ticket will have the driver number, bus number, route, date and time on it. There are cameras at the front and the back of the bus and each bus has its own number different from the route number. Hello, my name's Daniel. Can I have a taxi for Michael back, please? Thank you. Bye bye. See you soon. Like buses, there are many different taxi companies. There are private hire taxis, which you pre book by telephone, and there are also black cabs, which are licensed to pick up passengers from taxi ranks located in different places around the city. To ensure your safety, it's best to book a taxi by phone asking for the driver to park on your side of the road and to come to your door. This will make it easier for you as you will not have to wait outside or cross the road. You can also ask for a rough price of the journey so you have the right money. Do you want to Daniel and Emma? Yeah, that's right. Sure. Before getting in a taxi, check the driver knows your name and where you are going. It is best to sit in the back of the taxi behind the driver during your journey. You can tell the driver if you have a preferred route. If you don't agree with the route they are taking, you can always question the driver. It's all done there with the white pole then. Perfect. When you arrive at your destination, the driver will expect payment. Here we are, that's Poseidon House. That's yeah. £10, please, sir. There you go. Thank you very much. Bye. 
Ask the driver to wait until you're inside before driving off. If you disagree with the cost of the fare, ask for a receipt. Take the taxi registration number and you must leave your name and address with the driver. The taxi driver will have an ID card and all taxis will display a licence on the outside of the vehicle that's registered with Plymouth City Council. The taxi will have a tariff sheet showing how much your journey will be or a price meter displaying the fare. Remember to book a taxi rather than wave one down in the street for your own safety.